it's possible to view the camera by using the browser. But just want to remind the small plug you need to install before we can view the browser. Also, only the traditional internet is browser browser is supported. The Safari browser such like the Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Microsoft Edge is it, they are not supported. So here we are using the internet IE browser. This is the IP address. Once we click in, the it just a re remind to download the plugin for the browser. Here we choose save and run. Now click run. Choose the language. Next. Then we install the plugin for the browser. After install complete, we refresh the page. Now here you can choose the language. We use the English. And this is the username and password for the camera. So we use an ADMIN and the default password is empty. If you have added the password to the camera, here you, you need to input the password of your camera. Right now we click login. Then we click OK. Here we are seeing the live of the camera. And click this button, we can hear the voice from the camera. There's no voice. And this is the device config. And here we can set, we can configure the camera. And in code setting, we will be able to change the resolution, frame per second, and audience, audio, and also main string and substring. And network, we will be able to change the network setting, such like the IP address, subway, and next service. Here we can find the Wi-Fi. If your camera support Wi-Fi, also like the email notification and APP push message. And here is the hard drive. If you have installed micro SD card, you will you will, you will able to see the data here. You can format the micro SD card. Also, the last option is the version. We can find the cameras, firmware version, also the camera's cloud ID. The next status connected, which means you will be able to view this camera remotely. It has been connected to the cloud server. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching.